Hi everyone, it's the 29th of February today and of course that only happens once every four years so let's have a chit chat. Well the first thing I want to say is that I finished this top uh, a few weeks ago and showed it to you in my last video which is up here. Um, I put it on for the first time today to do some recording for YouTube and I realised that I don't like it. <laughs> um, not everything goes to plan when you're stitching. Um, I like the style, I like how I've made it, etc. It's a Keep It Simple Babe from Pattern Emporium. Um, I've made it lots of times before, as you know. I like the fabric itself. Uh, the fa fabric is cotton lycra from Pan Fabrics. I don't like the colour. The colour does not suit me at all. It does absolutely nothing for me. It's a light beige colour, I think it is. Um, I don't like it. It makes my teeth look yellow. I don't like it at all. So I should be wearing it round the house, but I very, very much doubt you'll ever see me in this top again. So let's have a quick change. That's better. This is the white one that I made of the um, black kind of um, spots on it. Much more my colour palette, so I think I'm sticking to this. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with um, this top. It's just the colour, it, it just doesn't suit me. Um, makes me look quite washed out. It does absolutely nothing at all for me. I know this is black and white and it's a neutral colour. But it, they are in my, it's in my neutral colour palette. So I'm much happy with wearing this. Um, I think I could wear this top, maybe with a, a black cardigan over it or a black pinafore dress or something. But I won't be going out in it because I don't feel confident in it. So yeah, it just goes to prove that we're not all perfect and everybody who sews does have mistakes. Although sometimes you don't see those mistakes on YouTube, do you? So there we go. One of my mistakes. The second bit of chit chat is actually some good news. Um, last video I came with some bad news really that the website for Rebecca Page that had been rebranded to You Make had suddenly been closed and a lot of people had been left without their patterns. Well the good news is that since I published that video uh, I've managed to help a couple of people get in contact with the owner of uh, You Make and they have managed to retrieve their patterns that they hadn't previously downloaded and things seem to be moving forward. I've also had my patterns uh, forwarded to me from the owner um, so yeah, all looking fantastic from my point of view and hopefully I've helped people to find a way to get their patterns as well. Now, another bit of good news for me is that um, I had an email a few weeks ago from the owner of Made for Mermaids and Patterns for Pirates. It's the uh, two pattern companies which are affiliated with each other. Um, putting out a call for new testers and I've been a brand ambassador for Rebecca Page uh, when they were Rebecca Page and a pattern tester and I've tested for several pattern companies and I thought oh I'll just give it a whirl I might not be accepted but uh, earlier in the week I found out that I had been accepted as one of their new pattern testers so of course, over the past couple of days, I've been looking at their catalogue of patterns of both companies and I like what I see. Um, I like, uh, my style is generally um, very basic, straightforward designs. I'm not a frilly person at all. I don't like frills. I don't like flounces. I don't really like colour blocking. I'm very straightforward in my approach to my clothes. I found several patterns that I really do like and that will go to enhance my capsule wardrobe. Possibly not for this season, but maybe later in the year. Um, I found a couple of really good patterns for me. Um, I want to buy, I think it's called the Everly Cardigan, 
which is uh, quite a chunky oversized cardigan, reminiscent really of the Marlowe sweater cardigan by True Bias. So I will be buying that and letting you know how I go. I also have uh, an affiliate account with Made for Mermaids and Patterns for Pirates. So if you buy any of the patterns through the links that I give you in description boxes below in future videos, then I will get a small percentage of the sale at no extra cost to you. So I'm really looking forward to exploring what Made for Mermaids and Patterns for Pirates have to offer. Like I said, I've already spotted several patterns that I really want to buy and make up and show you how they will coordinate into my capsule wardrobe. Now you might be wondering what all this fabric is doing next to me. Um, I've got quite a lot of it. Let me show you. I'll just spin the camera around a little bit. Here we go. There's quite a lot of it there. Um, I had a massive stash dive last week or the week before and I pulled out all the fabrics that I thought I could attempt to make up for my spring and summer wardrobe. Now when I show the fabrics to you, uh, you'll know that I haven't got a hope in making all this up but I just wanted to show you what I have and what I have in my stash and what I'd like to make with it. So I suggest you grab yourself a nice hot cup of uh, tea or coffee if you prefer or hot chocolate and relax while we go through my fabric stash. I promise I won't be for ages and ages and ages showing you all this um, but I just wanted to get my fabrics out so that I have a little bit of accountability about what I'll buy in the future. So let's have a look at what I've got. I've got my cup here. So let's get started on the stash. There is a little bit of fabric here that I bought last week because I needed to replace it in my stash and I have plans for it in my spring wardrobe. So I'll tell you about that when I come to it. I think I showed these fabrics to you in my last video um, for my uh, spring plans, but I'll just show you again very quickly. Uh, because I want it all in, in kind of one place. So I've got some stripy cartoon girls fabric. I have some bright cerise pink fabric. Bright turquoise fabric. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and I also have some yellow fabric. Now I'd like to make some short sleeve tops for spring in the colourful fabrics and uh, I've got white as well to make up and I was thinking of a long sleeve top for the stripey. I'd like to make again the keep it simple top um, either long sleeve or short sleeve because it does fit nicely and I like how it goes together and how it fits. So they're the plans for those fabrics. I also have a few more fabrics that I pulled out of stash. I bought quite a few meters of the navy fabric, navy cotton lycra last year. Um, again, I'd like to make a um, short sleeve top, and possibly a long sleeve top in the navy. And I also have um, about two meters I think of this um, bright pink or cerise jersey as well. I've got quite a lot of that. Um, I think a cardigan might be nice in that. I do like the Keeley cardigan. It is a pattern from Rebecca Page and you can actually get it from uh, the You Make Etsy shop. Um, so you can still get that. I've, I've actually got the pattern already. Um, but yeah, I've made the Keeley up a couple of times and that's a really successful make for me. So I'd like to make a cardigan in that bright pink. And I also have this uh, fabric. It was the end of a bolt and I bought it from Hobbycraft. The turquoise is a little bit brighter than it looks on screen, but it's turquoise with bright pink flowers on it. 
Um, I'd like to make myself a vest top in that. Um, I don't know why I've put it off, put off making it, um, because I think it's it would look lovely. And it is actually my colourway, even though it does look a bit pale on the screen. So they are my fabrics for tops. Forgot these fabrics as well. I've got some cotton viscose in a nice Kelly green and again a cotton viscose in navy. I've also got white in that as well and I've also got pink, right pink. I think I'd like to make, I don't know what I'd like to make myself in those but I've got those ready for tops when I want, I've decided what I want, want to make. Moving on to bottoms, uh, the fabric I bought recently that I mentioned a few minutes ago, I've got some sand uh, scuba crepe. I'm going to make mum a pair of urban pants in this for certain. Um, I'm not sure, I was going to make myself, it's a bit actually a diff slightly different colour than the top you saw earlier. Um, I don't know whether to make myself a, a slow all day skirt in that, you know, the fitted one with two side splits because I think that's a really nice skirt. So yeah, urban pants for mum and a slay all day skirt for me in this fabric. Um, I also bought at the same time some navy scuba crepe. This is for urban pants for me and again possibly a sleigh all day skirt but I bought a good few metres of that I think I bought four metres from Tia Night Fabrics it's already been washed up so it's ready to go um, it's a basic for me in my wardrobe because I do wear navy in the spring and summer so lots of that in case I want to make skirts or shorts etc and I also bought some really beautiful quality Navy Ponte from Pound Fabrics. Um, this is for a Stylark yo-yo skirt and a pair of Stylark Parker Ponte pants. I've been wanting to make some Ponte pants, well the Parker pants, sorry, for quite a while. So um, with the new season approaching I thought it's a good time to do that so yeah so I've I've already got plans for the fabrics that I bought so it was a bit of a frivolous buy but it is going to fill some gaps in my wardrobe time for a sip of tea I think okay still on with the pants then or oh, all the bottoms I'm doing pants at the moment aren't I so <clears throat> I've got some really nice um, camouflage ponte that I bought a couple of years ago. I actually made myself a short little skirt in this that I wear, I've been wearing all through the winter. It's really nice and thick, it's pingy, it doesn't pill, it's really nice. This was from Pound Fabrics originally. I'm going to uh, trial the Parker ponte pants in this fabric and see how it makes up. Or the pattern mix up before I make it in the navy ponte. I often don't do twiles or muslin, muslins but I'm going to do um, a twile, a wearable twile in this first. I've also got some um, dark navy denim because I do want to make myself another pair of jeans. Uh, so yeah, I've got some dark navy denim there. Got this from um, Kits. <coughs> excuse me, Dalton Mill Fabrics. So yeah, looking forward to making that fabric up. I've also got this mystery fabric. Um, it's a stretch woven in navy. It's been washed already. Um, I'm not sure of the composition. I'm not sure where I got it from originally, but I have had it for several years. But I thought that that would make a really nice pair of fitted trousers, slim fit trousers um, that don't require a lot of stretch. So I'm still, the jury's out as, as to what I'm going to make with that piece of fabric. But I thought I'd get it out just in case uh, inspiration struck. I bought this a couple of months 
Sago, some white um, stretch linen cotton. Uh, I made a pair of Eleanor trousers, Eleanor jeans, sorry for myself, in black recently in the same quality of fabric. And I want a pair of white jeans for spring and summer. I also bought the denim blue at the same time. So again, that's for a pair of stretch jeans. So it is kind of a more of a denim color, as you can see, really nice. Um, and I also, I've dug some linen out of my stash. I bought this, I think I bought this when we were on holiday last year from Lauf, I believe. It's a denim coloured linen, which will make a gorgeous pair of either Stylock Bennett pants or the Delta Cargos in that. So yeah, really like that. And I also bought some, again, navy linen from uh, Pan Fabrics a couple of months ago. I've worn my navy linen cocoa pants, I think they were, the crop version so much last summer, I thought I needed to replace um, those with a new pair or a, a long pair, because the ones I've got in my wardrobe are cropped. So a nice ankle length pair of pants or possibly even a pair of woven jeans. So yeah, they are all my trouser or pants ideas for this upcoming season. Now onto skirts. Uh, I just want to add here that in no way am I making up all these fabrics into garments for spring and summer. I just wanted to dig out the stash that I had so that I knew what I had so I'm not going to be tempted to buy any more, but more of that later on. So let's have a look and see what I've got for skirts. Uh, blue scuba, big flowers on it. This, is, this was from Tea and Night, I believe. Oops. Absolutely glorious fabric with a good stretch. That's going to make a really nice short skirt. So that one, um, I bought some turquoise scuba crepe uh, in the summer last year, but never had time to make it up. I think a nice short, well, maybe knee length sleigh all day skirt would be great in that and would look amazing with a white top and white sandals. This was again, I bought last year and thought about making just a pencil skirt it's again it's it's scuba some nice um, florals going on there um, I've got ah oh yes now this again was from two night quite a few years ago now it's stretch denim with massive big polka dots on I want to make myself pull on denim skirt and that's for spring I've been wanting to make that up for so many years. I think it's about four years, four or five years I've had that in my stash. It's time that it was made up and in my wardrobe. So yeah, denim skirt with that. I'd also like a denim skirt in this. It's a similar fabric to the fabric I've just showed to you for a pair of jeans. It's the stretch linen from Pound Fabrics, but I've only got a metre of this. So yeah, a nice stretch pull-on skirt in this would be fantastic for spring. A few fabrics that I don't know what to do with um, is this cotton poplin fabric. It's nice and bright and cheerful. Um, it's all washed up. Don't know what to do with that, don't know what to make. Possibly a dress, I don't know. Possibly a skirt and a top. I'd like your suggestions suggestions if you have any. And again, I've got this lovely, I think it's like a, a fine scuba crepe. It's um, kind of a lavender turquoisey blue. 
big flowers on it. I think a dress would be nice, but I'm not a dress person really. I don't wear dresses a lot. So maybe a nice, another slow all day skirt with the two splits. So yeah, let, let me know what you think. Okay, so I do know what I'm making with this batch of fabrics. I'm making a Genoa skirt from this fabric. It's a chambray with um, navy flowers all over it. I bought that from um, on holiday when we were in Louth last year. That was from Boys, I believe, in Louth. Absolutely gorgeous fabric. So that's going to be a Genoa skirt. Another Genoa skirt in this fabric. I made myself some shorts out of this chambray last year. And I absolutely loved wearing them. That This particular colourway went with everything I had in my wardrobe. So again, I'm going to make myself a Genoa skirt with that. Hopefully for when we go on holiday at the end of April. Another Genoa skirt in this. I have a one metre piece of this that I didn't make up last year. But again, I really want to make this up. This is going to be the Genoa skirt. It's got cerises, turquoises, kelly greens and chambray, which are all in my colour palette, which is behind me here. And the final uh, piece is this fabric. I actually made this up in the black colourway for my winter wardrobe. It's a Visco chalice, uh, but it's got fantastic drape. This is the navy colourway with the white vines on it. I'm going to make the Genoa up in that again. It feels so feminine and swishy. It's absolutely, Genoa is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to make that up again, but in the navy colourway for my spring and summer wardrobe. Just a few more fabrics left. I'm going to look at toppers. Um, I have some absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Cerise Pink French Terry. This is again from Pound Fabrics. Pound Fabrics and T and I are my favourites for fabric in the UK, I have to say. That's beautiful. I absolutely adore this. It's really nice and thick. I think that could be either some kind of sweatshirt or I mentioned the Everly Cardigan from Made for Mermaids. I think that would be fantastic as a cover up. Uh, the Everly, you don't actually have to put buttonholes on it. You can put faux buttonholes on it and it can just, uh, you can just wear it as a sweater, but it looks like a buttoned up cardigan, which I love the idea of. So yeah, I fancy that in that pattern. I also have this gorgeous big piece of chenille stretch. It's been in my ward, uh, sorry, my fabric stash for absolutely years. It must be 20 years or more. It's got a really good stretch. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a, it looks like it's crushed velvet, but it's not. So it is actually kind of chenille. Um, I've been wanting to make this up for absolute ages. And I still don't really know what to make, make this up into which pattern to use. Um, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards the Sinclair Patterns Harper Cardigan because I think it'd be really nice just to throw on um, over a, a top and skirt when we're away on holiday or when we're in the caravan or just mitching around the house. I've got plenty of it so I'd like to make that up into a cover-up. The final piece of fabric, um, yeah, you're going to laugh at this. <laughs> oh, no, I just have. Um, it's this French terry I have from Pound Fabrics. It is French terry. It's not cotton micro. But can you see the resemblance in the colour? That's because it's the same colour from Pound Fabrics. Pound Fabrics have a range of cotton lycra fabrics and French terry fabrics where the colours coordinate, which is brilliant. Um, I've used it to my advantage and made a faux dress that I made in the autumn. And I was gonna make a Stylark rear top from this. 
Now bearing in mind that I don't like this on me because of the colour, um, I'm a bit unsure what to make with this. However, I think if I made um, a Marlowe style cardigan, so the Everly cardigan I've been talking about, so it's thicker cardigan but oversized, and then wore it with navy bottoms and a white top under it, I think that might look okay as a cardigan. Whereas this top is right near my face. So I don't know whether to risk it and make it up or whether to, I don't know what to do with it. What do you think? Yeah, jury's out on this one. I might not get this made up because of the disaster. It's not disaster, but the colour just, I don't like it on me. So as a cardigan, it might look a little bit better because I can leave it open and you could see a white top or a navy top underneath it. So it might be well worth trying. Anyway, that's all my fabric stash. So I've come up with a challenge for myself. So yeah, seeing all this fabric and digging it out all of, out of all my boxes and bags and hidey holes where I, I store my stash. Um, yeah, I need a bit of intervention, I think. I have an awful lot of fabric that I've dug out. So I have pledged not to buy myself any fabric from now, which is 29th of February, until the end of 2024. Now, I know a lot of people say this, and I've said it myself, and I just go on a splurge. I think when one of the reasons I've taken the fabric out of my stash and got it all together is so that I can see how much fabric I've got and how much I've got to make up and make into garments for my wardrobe. And I have a lot. So I'd like to reduce that. And of course it will save me money because I'm, you know, sometimes it's nice to buy fabrics because you want to treat, but I've got enough. So my challenge for myself is to not buy any more fabrics until the end of 2024. The only condition that I have on that is that if I need something that's essential, then I will buy it. So, for example, in the winter, if I find that I don't have any black ponty and I need some to make trousers or skirts or scuba crepe to make essentials and basics with, then I will buy that. I'm not going to deny myself the basics. Also, I've had a good look through my yarn stash and, again... I have got to the point where I don't want to buy any more yarn either. I might bend on that because Drops have got a new catalogue out with new patterns and they're gorgeous. So I might bend on that little bit, but I'm going to try not to. So yeah, I'm going to think of a catchy little hashtag for my personal challenge and try and stick to it. Um, I'll update you week by week and let you know how I'm getting on. Sometimes I don't have time to stitch myself. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for joining me on this chatty 29th of February. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.